Welcome to No Code MBA. In this video, you're going to learn how to use Bubble's API connector to connect to two different APIs that are going to add functionality to your Bubble app. The first API is going to allow you to extract text from a PDF that's uploaded to your Bubble app, and then you'll be able to use that text however you want within your app. You're also going to learn how to use an API to extract text out of a website. So you'll provide a URL and then the API will extract the text out of that website. This is a free preview of our AI embeddings and vector databases course, where we use these API connections to extract text out of these sources, upload it to a vector database using Pinecone, uh, use OpenAI's AI embeddings to store those embeddings in the vector database, and then build an AI chatbot to um, answer our questions based on that proprietary specific data that we uploaded to our vector database. So if you want to learn more about how to use these in a real app, or you want to learn how to build your own AI chatbot based on proprietary data, check out the link below in the description. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below. The next thing that we're going to do is go back to our add a document page. And what I want to do is show you how to add a document by um, uploading a PDF and also by using a web page. So to do this, we're going to have to add um, a two different API calls that are going to convert our PDF into a you know text so that we can um, do this same process essentially. And then same for the web page. We're gonna have to convert the web page into text. So it's just that one extra step. And once we do that, we're gonna upload it in the exact same way. So um, it's really pretty simple. A lot of the hard work is out of the way. So uh, first let's go back to Bubble and let's go to our plugins and we're gonna collapse um, all of our API calls here. So we have OpenAI and we have Pinecone. So the API that I found works well and there could be others as well uh, that, that get this job done. Um, but the one that I found is called Rapid API. So Rapid API. So here I am, I'm on rapidapi.com. Uh, go ahead and create an account. So click sign up and you should be able to do this all for free on the free tier of Rapid API. And once you sign in, uh, here you are in their dashboard and this is where you can connect to a lot of different APIs. So it's also just a really cool uh, site that I found that you can use to build all sorts of apps in Bubble with their API calls. But we're gonna search for PDF to text converter. So PDF to text converter, you can see it has good ratings, um, good service level. And now what we're going to do is get the information that we need to set it up correctly. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is uh, go ahead. We're just going to use the default application. We're going to set up our test endpoint here. Uh, the parameters, we can uh, leave this. This is your API key. Um, and then the... Uh, X rapid API host. This is the string here and the headers and we'll get this. I'll show you how to copy and paste this into bubble. We want to use form data for media types and we need to do a required parameter, which is the PDF. So I'm going to go ahead and download the Bitcoin uh, PDF uh, white paper. So you can get to this pretty easily just by going to Bitcoin.org or searching for the Bitcoin white paper PDF. And I'm just going to go ahead and download it. So now I downloaded that PDF and I'm going to upload it here as a file. Okay, so I uploaded it and now I'm going to go back to the top and click test endpoint. And there we go. So I can see it was successful and it responded with the text here. Okay, great. So now um, we're going to go ahead and actually uh, set it up again. So we're going to go back to code snippets. Go here on the left side or on the, the top left of the code snippets. Go to HTTP and click HTTP slash 1.1. And this is going to give us some of that data that we're going to need to set up our API call. Okay, so we're in Rapid API. Uh, we're going to add all of the headers here in the actual API call itself. So what I'm going to do is call this uh, PDF to text. Use it as an action. The data type is actually a text um, data type. So we're going to get a text response, not a JSON response. The URL is a post, and I'm gonna go back here and I can see it's post. 
Okay, so then on the top left here under code snippets, we want to go and click actually um, the shell and a CURL. This is what we want to do. So now we have the URL. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that entire URL there. Go back and paste that in under post here. We're going to add the headers. So header here, it's X rapid API host. So go ahead and paste that in as a header. We're going to go back and get PDF to text converter. Paste that as a value. So you can see. So you can see here we have our header and value pairs here. Now the API key. Go ahead and put that as a header. Okay, great. And then one more content type. And then in the value, go ahead here, multi part slash form data. Okay, great. So those are the headers. And now the body type is going to be form data. So we're going to add a parameter. And the parameter is going to be called file. So just file here we can see. We're going to say send file. So the value is upload, uncheck private, just like we've done with everything else. And then what we can do is upload that same Bitcoin PDF. And we can go ahead and click initialize call. And there we go. We get the response, which is the text that we need. Okay, great. And then I'm also just going to show you how to, if we want to change the authentication to private key and header, we can do that. We can change, get that rapid API key, uh, put that into the key name, and then the value, go ahead and put that into value on key value and development value. And then I can delete that out of the header there. And then we can go ahead and reinitialize the call and it'll work again. So that's a way to put that private key in header. So you can either do that or you should also be able to keep it as a private header here in the uh, API call itself. So either way should work. Just wanted to kind of show you the different ways to do that. Okay, so now that we set up the PDF to text, I want to do one more API call while we're kind of doing API calls. And for this, we're going to use an API called Extractor API, which is going to allow us to extract the text out of a web page. So I'm going to add a URL. It's going to be called Extractor API. So here we are on ExtractorAPI.com. And as you can see, you can get a 1,000 requests for free. So I'm going to go ahead and log in, and you can sign up. And then um, we'll meet you in the dashboard. OK, so here we are on the dashboard. And this is just a really cool little tool that's going to allow us to extract URLs. So here we have our API key, the sample extractor code. Um, and I'll show you how to use this API. So go to the top, go to resources and API documentation. We want to search for extractor. And this is what we want, what we want to use. We want to use this extractor API call. And all we need here is the API key and the URL. Those are the two required fields. Uh, the rest are not required. There's also cool things you can do like translate if you want. Um, in paid plans, but for us, we just want to get the text out of the website. Okay, so we can see that it is a get, not a post. So what that means with a get is all the data is going to be in the URL. So it's going to be really simple here. So we want to go to the HTTP IE here. And what I want to do is copy. I'm just going to click copy because I really just want every that URL. I don't need HTTP get, but I just want that URL here. Go back to bubble. So the extractor API, the API call, which is going to say web to text. I'm going to use it as an action. This data type is JSON. So it's get, and I'm going to paste that all in, except I'm going to delete everything um, before that HTTPS. I'm going to delete the quotation. Uh, so here you can see we're going to put the API key in the URL. And then end URL equals example URL. So here, as Bubble uh, shares right next to it, 
these brackets, I'm gonna say URL, is where I can add in that dynamic value in the URL. So the URL, uncheck private. Now I need to get my API key. So I'm gonna go back to the dashboard here, just copy the API key. And I'm gonna paste that in. Okay, great. So now I'm pasting that in. We have the URL, the value. Um, the value is just going to be a URL. So why don't I just go ahead and put one in? I'll get a Wikipedia page. And here I'm on the Wikipedia page for the NBA. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. And now I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. Uncheck private because we want to be able to access th this uh, from our workflows. And I'm going to click initialize call. And here we go. We know it was successful because we got returned values. If I show raw data, here we can see the text. And here we go. This is all of the text um, inside of our uh, Wikipedia page here. OK, awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. So now we have the API calls for a PDF um, through Rapid a API and a website to text through Extractor API. So these are two APIs. I did research and found that they worked. Um, it's a little tricky uh, for PDFs and things like that to find out. Find one that works. Um, but these do work. And again, uh, you could potentially use other APIs as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please just leave a comment below. And if you want to learn how to build your own AI apps using no-code tools, check out the link in the description to check out No-Code MBA's Building Apps with AI course, where I walk you step-by-step -step through how to build your own AI applications that use Bubble and other no-code tools to connect to AI API such as OpenAI and Stable Diffusion to build your own text and image generation apps. There's also a full tutorial that builds on the video that you just watched, which will show you how to build your own chatbot that responds based on proprietary data that you upload, such as a PDF or a web page. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Otherwise, check out the link in the description to learn more.